A very big hello to all my wonderful KCT champions. I hope you are doing great, my dear children. So this year brings a lot of changes in the terms of admission process. And that means it brings in a hurricane of confusions as well. So I am here to, what do you call, take away all your confusions. Listen to me carefully. All your confusions would be sorted. Okay. And also one very important disclaimer that I want to give you is that please do not follow 2024 what do you call data or 2024 process of admission it is different okay the previous year you had to download some admission order take to the college and that's how your admission was done this year you would have to do your fee payment post that you will get your seat confirmation slip which you would have to take to the college that you are going my dear children followed by verification and post that you will get a copy of admission order so i am going to deal with the first two processes that is how you can do the fee payment and how you can actually download your seat confirmation slip my dear children first of all you need to understand that fee payment is for those people who have went with this option that is choice one choice one means i am really happy with the college i just want to get my admissions done and i would not be going any further with the counseling process so if you have taken choice one you would be automatically out of the counseling process my dear children okay and you would be allowed to go ahead with the fee payment now the fee payment can be done in two ways one is online payment and the other one is offline payment i'd be talking about them separately so that you have a better understanding and post that as i told you you would be allowed to download your seat confirmation slip so are we ready i hope we are ready i do not want to waste any bit of your time do not forget to subscribe to the channel and also click on the like button if you think this video is helpful so first of all you have to go to ks official website now the first thing that you see over here is admissions right click on that you'll get a drop down and that goes with UGCET 2025. Okay, now we have to click on that. Once you click on that, you'll get a list of notification. And there is a notification that came on 3rd of August 2025, which says UG Need UGCET 2025 Choice Entry Fee Payment and Confirmation Slip Download Link. Please click on this link. And now you will be guided to a page like this where you have to log in. So the first process of login is you can log in using your QR code, which is there in the verification slip that you have got or you can log in with your CET number as well either ways you log in you have done that before also when you are filling in the options right option entry period and that time you did it same way you please log in and second step of login is verifying the OTP so you might have got an OTP in your registered mobile number please take that and put it over here okay and after you type it over here you would also have to click verify OTP button now once you have clicked that my dear children it will go take you to the next page where your face verification would be done okay so you have to verify your face okay and then you had to start start camera stop camera option will be there or what do you call start camera and capture photo option would be there so please click on capture photo and once you have clicked on capture photo it will take the picture and then you will get these options please verify and login okay you don't have to do anything listen to me over here you will have an option to start capture or basically capture the photo please keep click on capture photo it will click the picture out there and then you will get an option to verify and login please click on that as well now going further with the actual process so over here my dear children suppose uh, this was a kid okay this is a kid who got xyz college that is rvc college of engineering computer science branch over here in the page uh, you can see two things choice entry and the payment details so the first thing that you have to do is if at all you are allotted with a college my dear children you will get this option choice entry and also payment details now once you click on choice entry what would be happening let's see that once you click on choice entry this would be opening up so here it would be mentioned please be cautious while exercising your choices okay you, whatever college and course you have been allotted with that would be given over here and choice one choice two choice three choice four options are given and at the sides of each choices you might be seeing a round thing like this there is a round thing like this which you have to click if you want choice one then you have to click on this round thing i know it might not be that visible but i'm telling you Listen to me very carefully when I say this, that you have to read all the things which are given over here before going ahead with choosing any option out there. Remember, 
all of it would be having certain consequences. So if you are going with choice one, you would have to go ahead with fee payment, okay, and you would not be allowed to go ahead with the counseling process. So fee payment has to be done by only choice one candidates as of now. So please do that. So as I told, you would have a uh, so many options out there and I'm going to show you how this page actually looks. There's a video of it. Just give me a second. Okay. Okay. Fine. So there is choice one. There is choice two. You can read all the options given. There is choice three. And at the end, you would have choice four. Now, my dear children, after you pick in any choice, for example, over here, I have, I think, uh, I went with choice four. Okay, I clicked on choice 4 which is why it turned blue. Whatever option you have taken in, please take that. Okay, suppose you're going with choice 1, then only you will be allowed to go with payment. So, for those children who are watching this video, I suppose you're going with choice 1 option. Right, after you click on choice 1, please click on submit. Otherwise, it won't get submitted. Please click on submit button, my dear children. And then it would say that, okay, uh, if you click on submit button, it will be showing up that you have chosen this particular option out there. Your choice was choice number 1 whatever is there and now my dear children you have to come back again over here something which looked like this which turned to look like this you will get an option to print your choice whatever choice you have taken you can print that choice you have an option to download the chalan or pay online so from here starts the fee payment method okay and post that you will get pay payment details you don't have to look at this now you have to look at this now okay that is download chalan or pay online so you have two options as i told you one is offline option and the other one is online option when you download the chalan i'll give you a brief about how it works is that basically ka will be giving you a chalan you would have to take it to the bank and you have to give the money out there okay give the money out there and then it will be reflected in your account later on that is seat confirmation slip would be active it will be showing up okay or else my dear children you can pay online as well through all the upi modes and things like that so i, I still know that you might have not got the clarity so i'll tell you so initially after your choice filling my dear children it will look like this choice print download chalan pay online or pay payment details option please click on download chalan option if at all you want to go ahead with offline process now, once you click on that, my dear children, what will happen? A page will be opening up. There will be a page opening up and important instructions would be given. All of it are together, but I could not club all of it here. So that's why I just cropped it. Okay. So there are certain important, uh, what do you call, instructions given. That is payment account shall be either from student or parents only. Any refund, if applicable, will be processed to the same account. So make sure you're doing that. Okay. If at all, you need a refund. Now, payment is to be made through NEFT or RTGS only. Okay. Now, the third thing, no IMPS payment to be made. The fourth thing, please verify the beneficiary account number before making payment at the teller account. If mistakes made at the back teller counter, KA will not be held responsible. So, make sure all the informations are there. Okay, beneficiary account details, all the details are really, really clear. Okay, and wait for four hours after making payment. This is very much important. So, you went to the bank, you did the payment and now you're waiting for the slip to come. It will take some time. At least wait for four hours after the payment. Okay, now uh, once you have read all these things, please click on i have read and understood the instructions okay click on i have read and understood the instructions and go and proceed with the proceed button over here click tick on that i'll show you tick on that and please click on this particular thing now once you click on that particular thing a new page would be opening up and four things would be three things would be given one is important instruction then is your in neft rtgs chalan payment in candidate bank and then there is candidate allotment details so you don't have to look for either of them you can check your details okay whatever allotment details are there whatever college is there you can check that but over here this is the main part okay so fine so over here you will have the ct number and the fee which has to be paid Fine, the fee which has to be paid that will be given over here. And then there's an option Chalan download and you will get an, get uh, three banks out there. You can do your, what do you call, you can download your Chalan from these three banks. One is HDFC Bank, the other one is Bank of Baroda and the third one is Union Bank, my dear children. It is suggested that you go with HDFC Bank first or Bank of Baroda if possible, my dear children, because in that case it will be a bit faster. 
okay it would be considered to be a bit faster and bit easy going procedure okay so for that you can go ahead with these two banks and if at all you do not have that then obviously you can go with this either way and i am going to show you a video of how this thing looks okay so over here it is in rtgs net neft just a second okay through hdfc and then you would have it through the bank of baroda and then there is an option of union bank as well there are three options okay once you click on whatever you want you have to click on this round button that you can see whatever whatever bank you need you click on that and then go ahead with the download option which will be given down okay please click on that so i'll tell you once more over here you would have got three option three bank option click on whatever bank you need and then go with the download option which would be given at the bottom at the top at the lower bottom my dear children you will get an option to download please download that okay now going ahead so i have taken a screenshot which is why all of this is like bit messed up but yeah now going ahead with the next thing that is after when you click on the download uh, chalan option you will get three copies one is bank copy the other one is student copy and the third one is college copy bank copy you have to give it to the bank and please make sure you are going ahead reading all the details out there there is candidate name there is date of birth the college that has been allotted your cet number everything make sure you are reading that okay now please give this to your bank where the payment and everything would be done there would be sign seal and everything done okay and my dear children you would have this also you would have all this thing please carry out of it and then go all the sign and seal and everything which is done it would be given to you and my dear children you would have to take the student copy and college copy they will give back student copy and the college copy student copy you can keep it with yourselves okay college copy you would have to give to the college during the time of admission but please make sure you are taking both of them student copy and college copy while going for the admission process i hope this is clear okay this is clear okay so here your payment what do you call the payment process has been completed once you go to the bank out there and do the payment they'll give you sign and seal and everything and my dear children that's how the payment process would be officially completed please wait for 4 hours for the seat confirmation slip tab to be coming up there fine now that is for the offline people now if you are someone who is going ahead with the next option that is pay online then you have to click on pay online option now pay online option is generally not recommended why because there are chances since so many people are been using the same site and uh, there's a history of this site being stuck here and there there are chances that your payment might be blocked at times okay it might not be finished or amount might be deducted but it might not be reflected so it is recommended that you use the download chalan method that is the offline method but if at all you are very sure okay let's see whatever happens you're going with pay online option then yes you can and this is how you can So if you click on pay online option there are certain things that will be coming up a page would be opening up next that is KEA online portal okay there will be payment details there will be convenience charges mentioned on the other side it will look actually like this so your candidate name candidate application number allotted college allotted course the course fee the receipt number what round it is round 1 okay so all of it would be mentioned you can just have a read of it and there is some informations given attention for candidates who does online payment please read those in information as well and now you can click on pay online option once you click on pay online option this particular page would be visible to you now whatever number is your whatever number or email id whichever is linked with your bank account my dear children you can put that over here and you can go ahead with continue button please put your phone number or your email id and go ahead with the continue button out there now one very important thing that i want to tell you from this point onwards is that please don't click on back button please don't click on any button on the screen which is there just wait okay just wait once you're going ahead with continue you will get options to do what payment through different different things like pay via card or what do you call pay uh, pay zap wallet or upi option you have so many things out there make sure you are clicking on whatever thing is there and just clicking on the continue button it will read you don't have to go back to google pay and open the other app no it will redirect so please just wait for some time just can't click on the continue button and wait for some time what will happen my dear children that particular upi app whatever you are using they will show up okay they will do the payment after that also you have to just wait it will take back you to this particular page so your page which was initially looking like this would turn to your google pay app or whatever thing is there and then would come back and look like something like this that is confirming payment there's a video i'll show you confirming payment payment successful that's all so it will come right here you don't have to click on any button 
apart from the what do you call your password and anything if at all it's necessary that's all okay now this would be coming up and slowly after that my dear children you will get a page like this where success payment status would be mentioned as what success and all your details would be there please make sure you're printing this up please make sure you're printing this particular data now there's an option to download admission order ma'am you said admission order is not there now admission order is actually not there now if, if at all you click also it won't be visible to you so this you would be able to do or basically not you it to the college itself they will be giving you the admission order so there is no point of clicking on that just leave it okay just leave it if you can please print out the payment details it will be very very useful for you okay so just you can ignore this particular thing for the time being i don't know why they have kept that so now the page would be looking like this initially remember there was choice print and there was uh, uh, download chalan and uh, pay online option and then it was payment details right but now over here there is choice print and there is payment details available because you have already made the payment and now the third thing that have come up is what confirmation slip please click on confirmation slip to what to download your confirmation slip so here you will get your confirmation slip my which my dear children there would be an option for you to download it for your option to print it out make sure you are printing it and keeping it safe with you and take it to college while you are getting your admission process being done for a safer side if at all you think that you might lose it or things like that please take a photocopy of it okay just in case and make sure you are being really really patient remember there are so many people accessing the same link that you are accessing so please be patient and that's how you can do it and i understand that there might be some doubt still lingering around in your head please put down in in the comment section and if at all you want us to make a video on something else let us know that as well okay we are here for you we are here to help you out and my dear children if at all you have not subscribed to the channel yet it's high time to subscribe and tell it to your friends also to subscribe to watch the videos and we are doing so many things for the next year kct aspirants so please recommend the channel also if at all you think it's good only if you think it's good okay and that's all that's all for now that's about the fee payment process i hope you have understood uh wishing you all the best wish that all the process that you're doing is going to go really really smooth and uh, that's all lots of love my dear children see you very very soon bye bye